This is insane. <laughs> Look at that! Hey, buddy, watch this. So, the idea with this deck is you play Bolner and Lightning Bloom, then you play Yashiraj. Yashiraj is the battle cry that Bolner is now uh, duplicating. If you don't remember Bolner, he repeats your battle cry. And then, because you have previously in the game played a Circus Medic, that means that Bolner will be giving you zero mana circus medics and zero mana dunk tanks over and over again. For Don't be shadow priest. For my daughter. Don't be shadow priest. Don't be shadow priest. Okay. You got a boulder in my honor. Well, th <laughs> thank you for that. That's really kind of you. All right, let's keep combo pieces against priest. I think we can push harder for combo against priest. Just roll oh, boulder in hand and medic in hand. Oh my god, this is the god tier hand. The only problem is I need other cards now. I need Talon so bad. I need Talon so bad. Okay, this is quest free. So this is legit just a race to who kills the other one first. Um, my only problem is I don't have a lot of flexibility with my hand, right? Like I can play medics once they get corrupted, but until they get corrupted, they're stuck. Oh my god, I have every combo piece. I just, I need a five drop. I can't play anything until I get the five mana. Oh God, this is too many combo pieces. We've gone the other way. We've swung the pendulum too far. Oh, Talon is so insane. It, it's, it's done. I'm done with combo. Next turn, I can just coin Talon. It draws the Yashiraj and I'm just done. I just have to play the medics and the dunk tank. Wow. Actual god to your hand. Actually insane. If I draw another lightning bloom, I can even do this on turn eight. I do need to make sure my hand is empty enough. That's one thing we got to keep in mind. I need hand space. But hopefully this stuff will all, all get us there. I hope I don't mess this up. I know what's going to happen. We've been trying to do this for an hour. We haven't lost a single game on the way, by the way. Oh, really? Focus will your own minion, but not the Talon? I'm beyond excited that just happened. I mean, do you really value the 2-2 that much? They value the 2-2 so much that they... I am mystified, to be honest. I would have just silenced the Talon, I think. I mean, maybe they got a plan for that 2-2. Two -two. Maybe they want to Elec it or something and they need to keep it alive, but they're not even close to their seven mana plays yet. So I don't think that makes a ton of sense. We'll just go Thanos dunk tank here. Actually kind of don't want the Thanos to draw me stuff, but it's all right. Next turn, we'll just dump these two. I need hand space, right? The healing doesn't really matter. We'll have enough damage always, I guess. Cyrella's so fine. We'll just kill that again. Seek Guidance Part 1 is down. Okay. So, all right, we're two turns away. Remember to play Dunk Tanks before playing a Medic to refill hand when you combo out. Yeah, good thought, good thought. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, I have Bloom! Oh my god. Uh, I need to clear space. Oh god, oh god, I gotta make sure I do this right. It doesn't matter, I got plenty here. Oh wait, he's gonna heal eight, hold up. Uh... Oh god, do I have too many circus medics now? Oh god. Oh god. Oh no, we're fine, okay. Dunk tanks were in there first, thankfully. This is insane. Get wrecked, priest. <laughs> Look at that! Oh my god, I don't think I did the ordering right at all, but it doesn't matter. It's just an insane amount of damage. It's just endless, technically. I could always have dunk tanks more minions and then just gone crazy. 
Ooh, mage. Okay, mage might be a good opportunity for us to actually do some OTK stuff. Maybe they'll be a little bit slower and we'll actually have time to draw into our Bulner. Oh, pack mule egg wins what we talked about. That's right. Apparently it may not work because scavenger's ingenuity doesn't work. Although, I don't know, Eggwin, I don't know when the buff happens. If that happens in deck as opposed to on draw, maybe it's different. I don't know. Could be distinct, but... Yeah, let's just cycle Thanos. We're looking for draw here in this matchup, I think, ASAP. Any spell damage benefits that Thanos offers are minimal compared to the upside on cycle. So happy to see Dungeoneers. Happy to see Thanos. That's all good stuff. Want to see a Talon, and we want to see Bolner. We've only drawn Bolner once. Oh man, that was like my last elemental, I think, maybe. Wow, I almost drew all the elementals before playing the Dungeoneer. I don't have any other elementals, right? Close, that next Dungeoneer's dead now. It's kind of sad. Ping my, ping my boy for me, kill this guy. Oh God, double encanters. Oh God, no quest though, by the way. And nobody's playing the cards I want them to play. You guys are supposed to be playing different cards. Excuse me. Is this worth? I have nothing else I want to do here. I don't want to overload because I want to play steward. It's just draw. Okay, cool. That's actually really good to get corrupted. So we're getting there. We need a bloom and we need a Yashiraj and we need a Bolner. Whatever shall I do? I don't. Okay, I don't actually understand your question. If you bought the last rewards track, do you get the portraits even if you didn't get them on the track? I, I don't think so. I think you gotta go unlock them get the xp right if you mean the ones that are part of the tavern pass oh bloom in hands okay we're getting there tradable i guess i like yeah i, I need to draw cards so tradable is pretty good we need to get a medic in. We need to draw Bolner and Yashirash. Maybe a dunk tank. Might want to keep one five drop for a dunk tank, actually. Oh my god, they've just drawn a million cards. They haven't done anything yet. <laughs> I guess ignites. This is a cool idea, though. Cycle ignite mage. Hopefully I have the healing to outlast this. I'm a little worried that these won't have anything to hit, though. Maybe Apexus minions. Just get to fatigue and start igniting me to death. It's a cool idea. Tons of draw. Those cram sessions didn't do a ton of work, though, I would say. Come on. Tidal Surge. Man. This is finding... I'm finding drawing Bolner much harder than I expected. I mean, we're staying alive, though. Oh, God, no. Stop. This one tickles. Do they have a cheap fire guy to keep this rolling or not? No, they do not. Oh, okay. So we can actually just clear this guy. What's the best way to do that? I guess it's just Hex, but I'm not super excited about that. Okay. A lot of healing in hands. <laughs> I am indeed finding it difficult to get a boner. Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> Having some problems uh getting the bolner. Whatever shall I do? Fireball's rolling face already. Okay, sweet. Tidal sir. Actually, this is a pretty good canal slogger, I guess, into this thing, right? Let's heal out this damage. I mean, ignites are scary, but you know. If they don't do anything else, I'm just gonna win on board, right? If they just start slamming face only, like we're gonna recover. It'll be fine. Yeah. No. They, they have to kill that 6-4 now. I mean, they can't let, let, let that live, which shouldn't be too hard. I'm sure they'll have answers, combustions and, and such, but they can't let it live. Yeah, it could be a Tony setup. Sure, yeah. Uh, it's all fire stuff, so Tony wouldn't be shocking at all. Hot streak. I think they're just playing for Ignite Super Draw, personally, because they had were spring water, and... I guess this gets, you can still toss one Tony in. It doesn't have to be strictly spell mage, but it does feel fairly spell magey, you know. Oh, it's Tony. Good call. Hey, Tony. What's up, dude? Yeah, 
Canal Slogger's good again here, I think. Could maybe do some other stuff. Uh, this is not quite enough uh, spell damage, right? So I don't think we go that route. Let's see what we draw here. I don't think I want to go double title surge or anything, so. Back to 17. Can they get enough card draw to keep these ignites rolling hard enough, right? Like, that's going to be kind of the race. Like, are they going to be able to cycle? Like, they're going to get one ignite every turn, but will I be able to outlast that and, like, develop a counter lethal before that becomes a problem, right? Uh... <laughs> I like the jokes in chat, guys. Thank you, everybody. Oh my god, double rune orb, scary. This could be anything. I love that their uh, card back, by the way, matches. Uh, that's so cool. Matches their deck theme. That's so fun, I think. Really, really cool idea. Okay, let's look for an easy way to deal with this. Uh, I don't really want to risk the Talon. Oh, I actually could just double title surge, I guess. I hate that I'm not, like, doing anything else in my mana, though. It's like, I don't really want to play Fireheart because she could give me more healing later, you know? So, okay. I mean, soon Yashra is just going to be lethal even without a Bolner, right? Like, at this rate. Ignite again. One at a time, though. Like, if that's the only thing they're doing, isn't that scary? That's what I'm maintaining anyway. That's my argument. I don't know if that's a compelling argument, but it's mine. The argument I own... This is not right, let's go ahead and get the dunk tank in in case we want to just go for uh, Yasharaj lethal after this gets killed. I'm worried this might get like devolving and stuff, but you never know. Not devolving, that's good news. Okay. This one so is this lethal? I have eight, I think, on the Yasharaj. If I had a second lightning bloom, it'd be lethal straight up right now. Next turn, it'll be lethal with the dunk tank. Probably just set up for the win, right? I'm really sad, though, that, again, we're not getting the Volner OTK here. We just haven't needed it. <laughs> Tiny Toys is really fun, but I need mana for Dunk Tank, right? I don't I don't need uh, I don't need Tiny Toys. Dunk Tank just wins the game. So what's the point in the Tiny Toys? OK. A little more healing. So this is now uh, 12 damage next turn. So they have to either heal or something. But I sure hope I draw Volner, dude, so we can do the combo just for fun. <laughs> I'm so sick of winning. I want to lose. Help me lose. Give me Bolner, please, God. Bolner, Bolner, Bolner. That's not a Bolner, dude. Do I do I BM just to see the Bolner? No, it's nine cards. That's too many to BM. I don't want to BM that hard. Ugh. This deck is too good. I'm really sad that I built the deck that's too good so far. All right, one one more freaking game. We go for 10. <laughs> you guys talk me into it, man. We go for 10. 10 in a row. You were here for the undefeated Shaman OTK. This is going to be some stupid face deck that just owns us. All right, we don't keep Bolner against Shaman, right? We play for... Uh, Stabilization. We can keep a circus medic, I guess. Man, having two combo pieces is good, but it's a trap. We need to have better early game cards. This is a good card, for instance. Nine and one incoming. <laughs> if I go nine and one with this deck and ruin the undefeated YouTube clickbait, you guys are you guys are you guys are in trouble. Uh no, I don't use undefeated clickbait. Strength and honor. I will probably say this is insanely broken because I think that might be accurate. <laughs> I don't think that's bait. I think that's real. Uh, but we'll see. Splingo thanks to the prime sub. Oh, this might be a mirror match. Oh, interesting. His word gotten out. Oh, no. Is <laughs> Malorim, are you here in chat? If we lose to a mirror match, I think that still is pointing towards the deck being insane, right? I think we got to consider that still a uh, a win for the deck, at least. Okay, no corrupts in hand. Strength and honor. Oh, they're emoting. Are you here, Malorum? I got the good totem, unfortunately. Ooh, that's a good draw. A charming composition. 
I like runic carvings because it can corrupt, I think. We might need to corrupt future cards, right? So. Let's hang out. Malorum, if you're here, I need you to uh, totem this turn and then just trade the 1 2 into the 4 4 and do nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's your turn, Valorum, okay? It's only fair. It's only just. <laughs> just give me the win. <laughs> they thought about it. You see that? They're like, oh, maybe. You'll be a hero in chat, Malorum. You'll be known for generations as the man who gave me the 10 and 0. Or the woman. The person. Oh. Yeah, there, there goes your legacy, Malorum. <laughs> there it goes. You're dead to us. <laughs> uh this seems like such a bad lightning storm right I, I don't think we lightning storm here do we finally just maybe kill this thing leaves better trades up but who cares the thing's getting too much value lurker below okay so we've only seen two cards they're both in my list i'm starting to think this uh indeed might be a mirror match in which case, it's really just a race to combo, right? Nothing else matters in this one. Except racing to combo. Which, unfortunately for me, I have zero combo pieces. I, I played a dunk tank. I mean, a circus medic, so that's cool, but... Ooh, I can hex that, maybe, and disrupt the Yasharaj here. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and I draw my own Yasharaj. Okay, this, this might pull me out a little bit, actually. This is sort of cool. Maybe they get Yashara stuck in deck now for a while, right? Who do people are actually watching? Might be a different version of the same idea, too. I'm certainly not the only person who's who's seen this idea, I'm sure, so. It could just be a uh, a different version of the same deck. So far it's card for card, but it may not stay that way. Alright, we can use this to clear. Is any card draw here? Yes, there is. So I'm going to take Primordial Studies, actually. I thought maybe Bolt made some sense. Um, it could give me, like, faster damage breakpoints or something. But this has card draw, right? This could be a Thalnos or something to draw me cards. So, card draw is king right now. Oh, see, they have Custodian. This isn't our list. We don't have Custodian. What's the weapon they drew? Gavel. Oh, okay. They're not... Maybe they're not running... Um, Bloom? Discounting the Yasharaj via Gavel? I, I don't know. That seems unnecessary, though, in a way. Doesn't seem particularly important to me. Ooh, tradable is the same thing as card draw. Okay. Another happy guildy. Dunk tank, all right. Uh, I guess if we get a dunk tank in, we're kind of just a bulmer away, right? We have one medic, one dunk tank. We need hand space, though, too. Which I can start dumping pretty easily soon. This is our corrupt for the dunk tank, so we can do that pretty much any time. I don't think we'll need to give them rush, probably. Just the way this game's going right at the moment. Who cares if I kill those totems? It seems more or less irrelevant. Uh, okay, we can do this and dungeoneer. So we should dungeoneer first in case it hits the other dunk tank. Nature waits for no one but me. It's the torrent, okay. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Really need to start dumping my hand though. Man, we are gonna run out of space. If you played a prize vendor right now and burns my uh bolner, we'd be in trouble. Boy oh boy would we be in trouble. That would be bad, bad news. Uh does Fireheart regularly find me card draw? She can get me Yeah, she can get me tradable cards. Yeah, we can always burn a bloom here too if we need to to create some hand space for this. Draw an overload card. Do I actually have an overload card? Yeah, Serpent Trim Portal. Okay. So this is what I was talking about, like burning the bloom to make sure I have space. Because card draw is absolutely priority number one right now. Falling Missiles is cheap cycle. Actually sort of makes the board better usually, but... Oh, another dunk tank? Um, It won't be corrupted. I break the chain if I go for the dunk tank now. I don't really need that, right? It's kind of pointless. I don't even have a way to corrupt it at the moment. This is really bad, though, because I don't really need any of these. It's kind of a waste. Let's 
Can be card draw. Oh, this is gonna. Oh yeah, card draw. Okay, cool. This just burns, but that's fine. Okay, cool. Actually, a pretty good turn. I theoretically drew two cards. Yeah, that's not bad, right? We we advanced our quest completion maybe by two turns. Pretty good. Another Thanos. Great. Okay. Just need to make sure hand size stays uh, relevant here and we should be good. We can squeeze in the other dunk tank now. And these are burning through cards ASAP. Oh! So we're good to go next turn as long as I burn enough cards. Oh, but I can't overload either, so... This doesn't really usually burn a card, unfortunately. This gets rid of two cards, but that's not going to be enough hand space, right? I don't... I am I mean, it might be. I'm still not totally sure about this hand space stuff. I, <laughs> I'm not 100% I'm not sure about whether or not the hand space actually matters. Um, we might have to wait another turn if I'm not confident enough to do this next turn. I have nine cards. I'll be playing three from hand. That means I'll be down to six. I'll have four board spaces. That should be plenty. 22 is not much to do. 22 is not much. Okay, we should be good to go next turn. Ah, okay. Definitely the same idea, just a different list. Same idea. Okay. They have a lot more card draw. I'm relieved we uh, seemingly got here first. Again, hopefully this is actually enough. I think I have to go. I don't know. Plenty of damage, right? I just go. It doesn't matter. Um... I have plenty of board space. So it doesn't matter. I have four more spots, right? So can't go wrong. Cool. 10 and 0. Oh, I'm defeated. That is insane. Oh, my God. Even win the mirror match. That's the coolest day one deck we've ever played, or the best, maybe. I think it might be too good just because we won even without the OTK most of the time. I think seven of our 10 games we won just being Control Shaman.